hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know calculus one particularly in functions okay so this is our second set of composite function questions that i want us to go through okay so with our previous one you could see that the degree of the products or the result that we're getting and that of the f of x were the same okay so we weren't you know going through much much um, work and this time is different and also this this time i have a question that that has only g of x and half of g of x as well and then we'll have to find f of x rather okay so just stay tuned if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support the channel okay all right let's start so you know f of x is this 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 and f of g of x is also this okay now the task here is supposed to find out g of x now the first thing is i always say that you should check the degree of f of x okay the degree is this two that is s squared and the degree that is the highest degree of f of g of x is also what s to the power four which is s to the four the degree is actually four which is s to the power four so now in order to get s to the power four what degree should i put in s squared so that i'll get s to the power four I have to put something here when i square it i have to get s to the power 4 and that should be what s squared so it means that the degree of our g of x that we should put in f of x is supposed to be a quadratic okay so that is how you used to determine your g of x so your g of x should be a general form of the quadratic and the general form of the quadratic is this so g of x is actually equal to and the quadratic is being written as a plus bx okay a plus bx plus is it no sorry the general form is actually a s squared okay a s squared plus bx plus c this is the general form of a quadratic function okay so now with this we can go ahead and do uh this in our substitution and comparison in a whole lot okay so you are supposed to find f of g of s using this using this function and after that, i come and compare it to your given function okay so let's go ahead and do it so we know that f of x okay f of x is actually equal to um, f of x is given as well 3 s squared plus 5 x plus 1 and g of s that we predicted or we are predicting is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c okay so you are supposed to find f of g of x which in turn will give us 3 into g of x is what a s squared plus bx plus c and squared plus 5 into a s squared plus bx okay plus c and plus 1 I hope this is okay so you have to expand you have a whole lot of things to do okay so this is the same as 3 into a s squared plus bx plus c if you know how to use binomial coefficient you can use that and expand this okay but i just want to write this as this i expand it two times like that okay then plus 5 into is it no there's no square so 5 into a s squared plus b x plus c plus 1. this is very simple okay so you just have to expand the the other side and when we expand this what we'll get f of g of x will not be equal to i'm coming to write the expansion so i have 3 into a s a squared x to the power 4 okay plus a b x to the power 3 plus a c x to the power 2 plus a b s cube again okay plus b squared okay plus b squared s squared okay and plus bcx bcx plus 
a c s squared okay and plus b c x again um, then plus c squared okay that will be the expansion for only the cube part then plus 5 into this will give me 5 a square a s squared plus 5 b x plus 5 c plus 1 okay I hope this is okay so this whole thing will give me 3 into i have to add some parts together a squared okay s to the power 4 then plus some of them will give me 2 2 okay so i have 2 a b s cube plus 2 a c s squared plus b s squared or b squared s squared plus to um b c x and plus c squared okay and plus 5 a s squared as usual plus 5 b x plus 5 c plus 1 okay now i have to multiply through the whole of this by hot 3 it means f of g of x will now be equal to if i multiply through by 3 I have 3 a squared x to the power 4, okay, plus 6 a b, 6 a b s cubed, plus 6 a c s squared, then plus 3 b squared x squared plus 6 b is it bc bcx plus 3c right plus 3c squared then we add a 5 on 5a s squared plus 5b x plus 5c plus 1 okay so now i have to just group like terms okay so we just group 3a squared s to the power 4 that one is okay and also with this is a b x cube is also okay but when it comes to the s squared we have a whole different case okay says a c plus 3 b squared plus 5 a okay so let me clean and write it well okay so with that is is three terms that has you know those s squared so plus that let me see okay so plus now i have, I have to write it small for you then plus this so when i come here i have with the s squared i have um six ac plus three b squared okay plus five a s squared then plus i go to the x says b c okay plus 5 b okay 5 b then x plus 3 c squared plus 5 c plus 1 so you know this is what we have okay now with that let me go to the previous slide with that we know that f of g of x is also equal to let me write it here so that you compare it straight away f of g of x is given by 3s to the power 4 okay plus 6 6s six cubed is it s cubed yeah, 6s cubed okay 6s cubed minus 4s squared minus 7x plus 3. That is what was given in the question. Okay, so all you have to do is compare this. Okay, let me use a different color. You compare this one to the whole of this that we've got in here. Okay, the whole of this. I hope you, you understand now. 
so we have to compare coefficients so with the x to the power 4 we have 3a squared here and we have 3 here okay, so we have to compare 3a squared should be equal to with the comparison 3 okay now divide 3 by 3 and i have a squared equals 1 meaning a is equal to 1 and i find square root of both sides okay now go to the b you know that 6 a b should be equal to 6 that one too you can go to your previous slides and check 6 a b this one should be equal to this 6 okay now with that you know that a is automatically one so or a is one already and it means we have six b equals six divide through by six and have b is equal to one as well okay i hope this is okay so with this we go to the c before you can get a c you know that this part or you can also use this part as well you can use this that is the s component and minus seven okay and that will work since here we have to do a whole lot of computation i don't want to do that i just want to pick the small part okay and so with the c okay so we have says b c we don't have you have says b c plus 5b should be called negative 7. but you know that b is what one so i have 6c plus 5 is equal to negative 7. I have say c is equal to negative 7 minus 5 which is negative 12 means c is equal to negative 2. okay so this is my a b c Th those are what we need okay because g of x was actually proposed okay in terms of this this is what we said g of x should be like this is what we said okay so it's a b c and now indeed we found uh a b c okay so you just go ahead and write a uh, g of x you now g of x is equal to a s squared plus b x plus c meaning this time a is what we had a to be one so i have s squared b to be one x then b c is negative two so this is what we have okay so this is g of x for the function or for the question that was given okay so let's go ahead and look at this very simple this time we've been given g of x okay to be this one and we've been given f of g of x so we are supposed to find f of x rather so now g of x this one is very very simple okay g of x is that and f of g of x which is the same as f of g of x is actually called 18 s squared minus okay 18 s squared minus 36 x plus 19 so what you can do here is that now the degree of g of x here is one and degree of the product is also two okay it means we, we've put g of x inside f of x and we had a highest degree to be what two that is s squared where g of x already what a linear function with a degree of what one so it means f of x was actually a quadratic function so that when you put g of x which is linear like this okay this one and you square it you get a quadratic okay so f of x we are predicting it should be it should be a s squared plus b x plus c so that when you put this function inside this the square side and square it will get a square okay so we always use the highest degree to solve it okay so this is what you do now with this we just go ahead and find our f of g of s like we do already okay we know that f of x is equal to a s squared plus b x plus c and g of x is now equal to what 3x okay 3x minus 2 that is what so we want f of g of x so f of g of x will now be equal to a into 3x minus 2 squared plus b into 3x minus 2 plus c okay so this for this type of question is very simple like that so um we just have to you know expand so a into 9 s squared okay minus 12 x plus 4 
प्लस थ्री बी एक्स माइनस टू बी प्लस सी सो हाउ दिस एन और नाइन ए एस ओके सो नाइन राइट इट वो नाइन ए एस स्क्वायर ओके माइनस ट्वेल्व ए एक्स प्लस फोर ए प्लस थ्री बी एक्स माइनस टू बी प्लस सी ओके so with this we have to just group like terms like we did okay so we just go ahead and say that f of g of x grouping like terms should be equal to now with the s squared we have 9 a s squared okay 9 a s squared like this then with the x component we have 3 b minus 12 a then x okay now with the c component or the Constant component we have plus four a minus two b plus c. So what we can do here is that we can actually go ahead and do what um you know compare it to f of g of x, which was given in the question. Okay, f of g of x was given as eighteen s squared. Okay. Minus thirty six x minus or is it plus plus nineteen? Okay, so you compare them. It means nine a should be equal to eighteen, and in this time a will be equal to what eighteen divided by nine, which is two. So we are done with a. Now we go to the b aspect. So we have three b minus twelve a, and should be equal to negative thirty six. Okay. Now with this we can divide through by three and we get b minus four a should be equal to negative twelve. Now you know a is two, so I have b minus four times two, which is eight, equals negative twelve. I have b equals negative twelve plus eight, and that gives negative four. Okay, so I have a, I have b. It's like it was c. So we compare the last components. Okay, to the last component. We know that 4a minus the 2b, 2b plus c should be equal to. Now with the last one, the last component was 19, and we know a to be 2, so 428 minus 2 times negative 4. Okay, plus c is equal to 19. So I have 8 plus 8 because this will give me a plus. Plus c equals nineteen, meaning that I have c equals nineteen minus sixteen, which is three. So this is very simple. My f of x will now then be equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. That is what we we wrote or we predicted. So it means my actual f of x is equal to a is what two. Okay. So I have two s squared, okay. B is negative four, so I have minus four x, and c is three, so like that. So that is the solution to the question. This is very very simple, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a trial. Okay, so you do this on your own. So let g of x to be two x minus one, like that. Okay, so I have two x minus one. Find f of x such that. F of g of s is given by this. Okay. Now the solution is f of x is supposed to be this. Okay. So go ahead and do it. Go through like we do it always. Okay. So like here, what you should do is just compare the coefficient or the the degrees. Okay. So this is a linear degree, and this is a cubic. So it means f of x should be the highest degree of f of s should be what. S to the power three, so it should be the general form of the cubic function. So you know how to write it, okay? A s q plus b s square plus c s plus d. I'm just saying this without writing it, okay? So that you copy and use it, okay? Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.